Hey Bulldogs, I'm Jordan Chaffee here with Johan Rodriguez Vieira and welcome back to another episode of Code Blue News. To start off this week's show, Best Buddies is holding a meeting on February 16th, right after school, in room C222. But Johan, could you explain a little bit more about what's, what Best Buddies actually is? Best Buddies is an international volunteer movement that creates many different opportunities for one-on-one -on -one friendship and leadership development for individuals with and without intellectual and developmental disabilities. It is an amazing opportunity to meet new people, participate in fun activities, and make new friends. Also, if you're looking for help on homework, after-school help will be available every Thursday in room C-132 at 2.15. Venturing outside of Holbrook, Randolph is holding a, hosted a vaccine day. You may get any COVID vaccine as well as f with flu ones. There will be activities such as face painting and raffles. And with every COVID vaccine, there are $75 gift cards to select stores. Anyways, Johan, February break is coming up and I just got my license. I'm feeling pretty daring. And Deer is here just to find out who else is feeling daring. Yo, it's your host from Truth or Deer. Do what I say. This ain't downing with Derek or jamming with Jay. Always spin, no time for good eats. Now sit down and get ready for this epic beat. Read it out. <laughs> Read it out. Throw all your lunch away. Throw all your lunch away. Oh, I just spent five dollars on my food. No, no, he can eat it. I don't care. No, I'm not throwing it away. I lost. I lost. I don't feel good. I had mad stuff. I I take an L today, guys. He took my snacks. Uh, he took my snack. He took my water. I, I lost. I took out today. Yeah. 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 All right. There. there. Uh, let your friends pick a song that you will sing to a random contact or person. Yo. Ohio. No, 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 no. That girl. I'm gonna sing Ohio to somebody. Swag in Ohio. Swag like Ohio. <laughs> I did it. Like what's that funny though? That wasn't funny. There. Let your friends give you a new hairstyle. Oh my! I look like Branch from Trolls. Stop playing with me. Who's your favorite Code Blue member? Derek Fox. Just your brother? Just kidding. It's Kai Forbes and Deer, I guess. <laughs> Why am I tied though? John, who's your favorite Code Blue member? Uh, Josh, yeah. Josh? Josh? The cameraman of my segment? Back to you in the <clears throat> studio. Thanks, dear, for another great time of truths and dears. I agree, but for anyone else interested, the class of 2025 is holding a charity basketball game in honor of Mr. Monteith. It will be held on Friday, March 10th at 3 p.m. Admissions for a team of four players is $25, while for individuals it is $10. And remember, teams must be co-ed. If you have any questions or concerns, contact Gianna Mingola. But for sports this week, the girls and boys middle school basketball team will be traveling to Rockland to play Cavalry Chapel. The girls will play at 315 and the boys will play at 415. The boys JV and varsity teams will be taking on Westport at 5 and 630 p.m. While the girls face Westport here at home at 4. Good luck to all of our Bulldogs. 
Since we are talking about the basketball teams, we have to talk about how incredible the cheerleaders have been supporting our basketball teams. Cheer is a vital part of our sports teams, and we have to marry to give us more insight. As of late, everyone has been curious with how both the boys and girls basketball teams are doing around this season. But how is the cheer team doing? What's going on with the cheerleaders in their season? I've been able to talk with Mr. Holden, our athletic director, um, about competing starting in the fall season and through the winter season as well. So our hope is to get associated with a cheer organization in the state. Um, so we would start practices a lot earlier, probably hold earlier tryouts this year, um, and begin uh, conditioning over the summer to get ready to compete. So that's our biggest plan that's in the works. We're excited about it. I think we've improved by doing more complex stunts and also working on our tumbling skills. Take time away from everything and just focus on your teammates, your skills and improving. Tumbling is something that we need to work on. So doing all the flipping, back handsprings, um, flexibility. It's hard because we don't have access to a gym with tumbling equipment. So it's hard to train those things with just the mat that we have, um, especially being in an environment where we don't have an enclosed space. So our hope is to be able to attend some tumbling classes outside of the school to improve that aspect. Because I think that's the biggest thing we need to work on in order to compete. Cheerleaders are an important part of school sports and how do athletes feel about them? I think it's important to have cheerleaders at the game because it can have a negative impact on the other team because they're not ready for all the uh, like loud loud noise and stuff. They gave us more confidence. They like want us to play more because like they're loud and they like bring us up. Um, I am just so impressed by them this season. It's honestly wild to me that they have never competed because they're so talented. So I am super excited to take their talent on the road and see if we can place. This has been Mary Walker, back to you in the studio. Wow, what a special cheer team we have here. Enough with all the sports talk. Seventh grade height and weight screenings will start February 14th. These screenings are mandatory and will take place unless the nurse is notified otherwise. While on topic with middle school, Many of you are now well aware that there is a new policy where the first lunch is a no phone policy. Middle school will also be prohibited from using phones during passing, but let's all make sure that we are being respectful and following the rules here at HMHS. Also at lunch, there will be a table on February 13th for Teen Dating Violence Awareness Month. There will be giveaway items and most importantly, information about Dove services for youth. And along with Dating Violence Awareness Month, February is also Black History Month. So Kai is here to try to educate some of your HMHS. I wish I was special. I gave all my... Who am I here with? Jakai. Okay, um, first question. So we're going to um, um, ask you if you know some influential black people in our history. Who's this? Um, that's, um... Okay, on to the next. Um, um, George Washington. Who's this? I don't know. Take a guess. Um, George. Uh huh. Who am I here with? Oh, wait. Who am I here with? Swerve. Jalik. Jackie Robinson. Abraham Lincoln. Oh, Martin Luther King. Martin Luther King. What? That was good. <laughs> Elizabeth Warren. Harriet Tubman. Yeah, no, you're actually tough. No, we're actually good. Oh. Oh, Rosa Parks. Rosa, Rosa Parks. Parks. Rosa yeah. Parks. Oh. Good. <laughs> oh, that's Obama's dad. What's his name? What's his name? Um, Jason Terry. Jason Terry. Jason Terry. You agree? Jason Terry. Uh, yeah, yeah, Jason Terry. Harriet Tubman. <laughs> 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 No, you got it. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna give you that. I'm gonna actually tell Flynn. Who am I here with? Uh, eating coffee. Me. Who's this? She about the same age as you. I don't know. What do you say? Harriet Tubman. Was that who it was? Let's go. I'm right.
On a serious note, black history is a topic that needs to be talked about more often and actually addressed. We must recognize the struggles that many black people have faced and the influence many influential black people have had on our society. Black history expands far beyond the month of February. It is something that should be celebrated and honored every day. It is important to note how black history is also American history, so it is important to educate yourself on how our past affects the world we live in here and now. Well, that's all for this week. I'm Johan Rodriguez Vieira. And I'm Jordan Chaffee. See you next Friday for an action packed Cold Blue News. Fly, Eagles!